long weekend. Back at it. Chalado with some training. You know, right now I'm in the mojo. It's hard for me to stop and make a video. Our, um, Red Sox are on the sink. I missed out on the J. Paul fight. I was going to put a bet on J. Paul, but I overslept. business for me because I could have won, could have definitely turned my money over very quickly. After, because I took two losses with the Red Sox. And then the third game, I knew they were going to get swept, so I said, well, let me, let me, let me kick back. <laughs> but when it comes to the Jake Paul dude, um, potential, You want me to be real with y'all? He's a, he's a, he's a C-class fighter at this point right now with a lot of potential. C-class fighter with a lot of potential and a lot of power. Um, and a lot of other good things. But was it a good experience the guy he fought? Mike Perry, that's his name, right? I mean, yeah, it's a good experience because Mike Perry's a, a tough guy. He's a bad nothing fighter. People that haven't fought bare knuckles don't know how how brutal it is. And I have my scraps. <laughs> um, Mike Perry is not a C-class fighter. And I'll take you through the steps: C-class fighter, B-class fighter, A-class fighter, world-class fighter. And pound for pound. Feel me? So world class fighters next to pound for pound pound fighters are still in a different group. So that if I'm putting J. Paul in a C class fighter, that means he has a lot of he has a few steps to improve himself. Don't we all? But it was a good experience for confidence. My parents is a smaller guy, tough guy. His handwork is not, not on a, on a professional level, but his experience and his toughness and, and stuff like that, it's a good experience for Jake Paul. The long layoff. So I think if this J. Paul would have fought Mike Tyson, I think Mike Tyson would have stopped. I'm being honest with you. Unless Mike Tyson is over, super over the hill. Which it could be. The, um, the possibility. Making a ton of money. So to continue to make it, I mean, why not this business? You know? I'm not gonna knock it. Can he compete with a guy like 
que a gente campinho ele já tem lugar de vida. Eu fujo ele. É três pontos, não. Olha aqui que esse trabalho pico. Muito mais experiência. Now, there's different levels to fighting, and he's, he's doing good research on him. boxing skills, he's crafty, he's tricky, in certain areas, the power is almost very really high, great power, and he's a big guy. But when it comes to different dimensions of bringing pressure, of changing rhythms, of knowing how to use the rain, Knowing how to um, um, use different fundamentals of his arsenal that he doesn't know how to use because he doesn't have the proper person to train. Um, yeah, he's, he's way back. And that's going to take time because he's doing everything physically. Physical is not going to make you better if you're not going to do everything. Um, how would I say this? This is very hard to explain. The only real fighters know about this. Um, like, I, I'm being real honest with you. I'm a small guy in Jake Paul, but if I was to spar with him or anything like that, I can neutralize him. Very simply, just by cutting off his breathing with my mental state of pressure, of the illusion of the matrix. Just by the way I saw him fight. Now, once again, you can't blame him for that. You have to blame the people around him that they're not too experienced. That's what's called group effort, right? And um, yeah. get yourself the right people that can teach you more stuff. Stop depending on that boxing skill so much and um, learn how to become a pressure fighter. And then explore it. Means explore it means put it together and then if you get other areas like neutralizing mental boxing and building suffocation of mental fighting and different rhythm fighting and readjusting rhythms and you can put all that together and learn how to get experience in those parts then you're going to be able to compete with a guy like the top guy But experience and, uh, and confidence is not going to get you that fighting these mediocre guys. They can make you more, more prepared. Let's say more, um, you know, more shape, more experience of fighting, stuff like that. But they're not going to be able to get you to where you really want to get. Because you're already rich, right? But you want to say, oh. Take everything and fight. I'm gonna take everything and hire some real people and get to the point of well, let's not say real people. Additional people that can get you the right uh, resume remedy, right? So you can. So you can really win a world class pound for pound fight. So yeah, we should try that. Anyway. But well, yeah, you gotta have to tell me. Um But not if he doesn't get the right help.
Try not to get out of here. I gotta get back to training. That's that. Cool.